Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of... Uh, you, point? You, you punched me. I didn't mean to, I was trying to do my way if you were too close. <laughs> close. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm a derp. Uh, anyway, we, uh... <laughs> we did the Endicory thing, and holy crap, so much, so... So much... So much fence my saying. Indeed. Roughly uh, yeah, roughly two hours on this or something like that. Yeah, yeah, right out two hours to get a thousand by a thousand. The bigger than a thousand by a thousand. Yeah. Really but it's 100%. at least it's at least a thousand by a thousand. <laughs> Even if it was like nine ninety eight in one direction, I think we ended up going like a thousand sixty in the other. So it's fine. So let's uh let's actually place down this ending board, shall we? Yes. Defense boundary. It is a moment because a lot of fence. Pushing fence boundary at uh negative four four nine, negative one nine nine. I'll get it here shortly. Yep. Nope. There we go. Yep. Good. There we go. Um, that means we can at least move this fence and this fence for the two upgrades I have. Hopefully. Which is fence boundary? It's fine to move them. Oh, okay. One, uh, you know, I was actually going to use for the fluid input, but considering we don't actually know if there's any fluids here, we actually don't need that one. Yeah. As far as I could tell from the wiki, there's, there's no fluids. Gonna be set up for item feed, uh, don't care on energy fluids, not gonna bother, and send only on items. Somewhere. Yep. So I live a shirt. Negative eight. Negative eight. eight. Uh, okay. Yep. I'm not gonna bother then. I was gonna go see what it's doing, but don't don't want to fly out there again. Yeah. Um. Probably yeah. need a chunk loader for this. Chunk loads. Oh, okay. Oh, That's cool. Do is might come in here uh, after supper we start to reload the initial bit. Oh, 5,200 block scan. Like, this is going by pretty fast. Yeah. Speed 3 upgrade on it along with Fortune 3 just for any uh, ores that it happens to mine. Let's soak one, but like. Mm. Yeah, it's already up to 10, over 10,000. Fast. Never realized how powerful the speed upgrade was. Yeah, it's it's quite nice. I should get it knock this out fairly quickly. I'm really hoping this thing doesn't mess with the nuns, if anyone knows. Um and would leave in the comments would be surely appreciated. Late by then too, some of the nodes might be destroyed. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too too worried about it. They'll respawn. But yeah, this... I don't think nodes respawn. It's exactly respawning. This is true. Well, it's over 18,000 now. Yeah, it's definitely going a lot faster than I remember an ender core going. Uh, but... Shall we, uh, shall we head back unless you want to do more exploring here or something? Nah, there's really nothing other than maybe like, uh, eventually we'll come back and collect some nodes, stuff like that, because it'll be a lot, somewhat easier to collect nodes here than it will be at the at void level. World FPS, not happy. Indeed. Modded. I mean, we're like, it's a 
little slow at loading in things when coming through uh, with another portal. So that means that we can knock, knock out, check off a couple of things in our achievement book with that. Let's see here. Oh, Age of Exploration, there we go. Travel to the Deep Dark, done. Craft Jews and Inner Quarry, done. I think the last one was an Age of Insanity. Yep. Which is... Uh, from Age of Insanity. Successfully run a 1k by 1k Inner Quarry in the Deep Dark. Yep, we got all those done in the last few episodes. So... I forgot about that one. Turn a, turn a nether fortress into dirt with an ender quarry. We oh, could actually yeah. set that one up as well. That uh, one's... We would have to create yeah. another ender quarry. That's true. Well, they're not too hard to make. But, uh, I just told the A system to make one. And made. <laughs> and that's that easy. <laughs> well, seeing how the nether fortress has spawned, we could use... For no bigger nether fortresses, we could definitely do the... um. Through the end um, fences instead. The end of markers. Yep. Uh, what the hell? Oh, right. Because I, I don't, I personally don't feel like placing fence ever again. Ever again. <laughs> I don't know about ever again, but uh, my, my <laughs> fill of fence is filled. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that was a task and a half. So let's... Actually, we, we can want to head on another and just get that yeah. done too while we're at it. Might as well mark it out hard at it. I mean, it'll take a minute to do it, but we can just set it and forget it. <laughs> if we'll go to the end. I mean, nether. Yeah, nether. I don't know, I said end. See. Could do Thumbcraft after that, but uh, d d whatever we'll do, we'll just do oh, this. Oh, well, we can. This won't take but a few seconds set up. I forgot where the Nether Fortress is. For some reason, I don't have it marked. The west is one of them, but I think we can actually head to the east, and there's one over that way that might be easier to get to. Okay. For some reason, I didn't have it marked off. Or I did, and it unloaded. It's hard to tell. But yeah, this won't take long to set up at all. Especially with the intro box. What's that? Ah, yes. Um, we haven't. But... No. That's, I didn't see it in the achievement book, but... Yeah. It's definitely something we haven't done. We also modified the figs. Yeah, that needs to be modified because else was they just come up. Ah, okay. I modified that before we even started. That's good. Killing off mobs here. Making sure we can actually get everything here. Should be fairly easy. But then, random block doesn't keep converting into dirt. This is true. Goodbye, magma slime with the giant creeper hat. Okay. Got another mobster. Um, no, it's not. It actually needs to come out one more block. Oh, talking of um, Thomcraft, we did set up a wisp um, farm to get some essence. I don't know. I don't think we did. I don't remember. If we did, we did. If not, sorry, I forgot. 
experts outside of just why things so happen. Really hard to make a lie if you don't know that. Um, the top is um, the very tippy top is um, sixty, um, sixty-six or yeah, sixty-six. Okay, that's good. The mobs out. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to. Wow, all the all the blazes here. Yeah, I think I don't think I'm able to walk the single mobs. I got a lot of them killed, at least. Yeah, this thing's on small western. You would think. Oh, let's see. Corners match up. Yeah. Because it definitely sucks if it missed like one block. Hope. Hopefully. Another. <laughs> no, right. It's up to 10 chunks instead of what I was running at 8. Does it it's still red? Yeah. It's fair. It's darker in here. It's, dark. it's almost dark as too dark. Fadeable. <laughs> yeah. Markers work. I think we have to right click uh, once we get all four corners to yep. actually get a line between them or something. To automatically create the particle effects for me. Okay. Yep. It it it, it does it. That's so. Seems to be working. May not see or aren't on the things coming off of it. Unattached under markers, successfully sandwiched boundary. That was the fastest thing I have ever seen. And there definitely is liquid here, but it doesn't really matter. We're just worried about. I don't know. Maybe there isn't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, lava source block or two within the Nether Fortress itself. That's about it. Yeah. 16, uh, 111. And. Is what this corner over here? Yeah, what's this corner over here? Oh, yeah, this shouldn't take too, too long to do. <sighs> Not sure. Anything, it's going through the air blocks because it has to. Ah, okay. Well, in fact, the air there was just kind of going down a line. So, yeah, this, this will get done eventually. Yeah, alright. Pretty much just gotta set it and forget it at this point. Can we head over to the Thumbcraft area and yeah. check out what I've done and everything? Uh, sure. Actually, for an episode. 
Indeed. I said that. Anytime uh, in the next oh. five minutes or so. Nah, I doubt that. It'd probably take about a half hour. Keep in mind that doesn't have a speed upgrade on it. Or, uh, Copperstone's holding up with the uh, Deep Dark one running. Yeah, the DSU's probably <laughs> filling up fairly quickly. Alright, let's head over to the Thumbcraft, which is down below. Check, uh, Cobblestone. Next my inventory. It's gonna let me go down, that is. There we go. I just took a bit to do. Actually getting, uh, compressed still. So that's uh, yeah. it's gonna go for a while. Yeah. But yeah, we we've done quite a bit of Thumbcraft since show since the last episode. Uh, set up the altar, um, filled it up with crystals, and hooked it all up to the 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 infusion or... altar has been shown. Okay. I didn't know if you shown the, um, the, the, these things, or the jars or like, not. Yeah, the crystals got moved to the top, added a lot more, and jarred up all the edges. Indeed. These alchemical furnaces over to the wall, because screw piping in this goddamn game with Elmcraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite, it's quite irritating, yeah. What I knew, what I knew is a started importing all the Essentia into what is known as our Essentia drive right here. Just filled up with 4K storage cells. Full crafting terminals and Essentia terminals. Exported each and every single essence type into a jar. Holy crap, by the way, there are 55 of those. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. the wiring for that. I, I, ah, fun times. Yeah, Thumbcraft itself over here uses three P2P uh, inter tunnels. Two wow. of those jars alone. That's crazy. Channels on those, but uh, the, not, not many. Yeah, I'd say not many. Well, at least we got... All that set up so I'll be able to make the staff source. If you want, to the game. Yeah, I can do that real quick. Actually, going to see about making something myself. I already. I gotta put stuff in the. I gotta move stuff around here real quick. I forget about that. The the thing I was actually going to make uh, requires a lot of runes from Botania. Ah. Made it so. But dimes. Uh, I'm sorry okay. doing that. Alright, I know in the center goes the cap. I don't know if I need a one for this or not, I probably do. I mean, there's a book section on runes. Hopefully so.
Alrighty, I think I got everything I need here. Yeah. Alright, the, the cap goes in the center. Um, the cap. Then it's the Mundus. Um, see, how's the Mundus go again? Let me check the button. Got way too much crap in my inventory. There we go. Alright, let's check it out. See, let's pull up the cap here. Okay. Alright, yep. Yeah, top, then it's a triangle. Basically a triangle. I'm not sure how to do that. With the uh, altars this way. Our, and all the altars are in the right place, right? What? Yeah. What are you okay, because. Alright, because it looks like one of the Mondas needs to go right here. Let's see what they're trying to do. Okay. See this in the, the Thelonomicon. Um, okay, you. Click Thamana Cap. <laughs> um, the Thamon eh. Thamaturgy, yes. Um, click the Thamacon wand. Then it shows how to make the cap. And then it's the voice, Arcane Infusion. You need to describe where these buttons actually are so I know where to go because I don't know these books. Okay. Um, Alright. Thamurgy. You see basic one craft. Okay, go down right. You see gold one caps. You see thermonium one caps. Left click that. Then go to the next page. Charged. Yep. It's in a triangle. And these are, and this isn't set up in a triangle. Uh, da, 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 let's see. The inner or outer ring will work. You just need to keep it in balance. Is essentially what that is about. All right. Yeah, the instability itself is moderate because there's only three items involved. Yeah balance 100% but like if you were to put something uh, on this pedestal here okay. you would have to put one on uh, this pedestal over here because it's a uh, opposite if you will of each other okay I, I guess just find a spot because really it just needs those three items but uh, keep in mind that last item is what causes a, a massive instability for it okay so if I put it right here I, I don't remember how to use the runic matrix. Uh, right click with a wand or something, if I remember correctly. I'm hoping so. Items. Okay. Doesn't fail. <laughs> Good. Okay, this is at the right so. spot. Okay. The uh, uh, shape of the items doesn't matter, you just need to keep them across from each other, and if there's an extra item, just know that whatever you do with it, it's going to cause instability itself, because it's not opposite of another one. Okay, I gotcha. Okay. Be charged now. Yep. Let's put it back on there, you can take it. Alrighty. Um... Uh, you can only do one at a time. I... Pretty nice about that. But I keep doing that. Uh, <laughs> after this episode has ended, go for it. We'll uh, get the the staffs going in the next one because I I also have to make some runes yet. Alrighty, sounds good.
Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, as always, take it easy. Take it easy.